Talent hits a target no one else can hit. Genius hits a target no one else can see. I've never known any trouble than an hour's reading did a swat. Just remember, once you're over the hill you begin to pick up speed. Treat a work of art like a prince. Let it speak to you first. The doctor sees all the weakness of mankind. The lawyer all the wickedness. The theologian all the stupidity. Satisfaction consists in freedom from pain, which is the positive element of life. Arthur Schopenhauer a man can do what he wants, but not want what he wants. Arthur Schopenhauer compassion is the basis of morality. They tell us that suicide is the greatest piece of cowardice, that suicide is wrong, when it is quite obvious that there is nothing in the world to which every man has a more unassailable title than to his own life and person. The first 40 years of life give us the text, the next 30 supply the commentary on it. The two enemies of human happiness are pain and boredom. The discovery of truth is prevented more effectively, not by the false appearance things present and which mislead into error, not directly by weakness of the reasoning powers. By preconceived opinion, by prejudice, buying books would be a good thing if one could also buy the time to read them in. But as a rule the purchase of books is mistaken for the appropriation of their contents. Every parting gives a foretaste of death, every reunion a hint of the resurrection. Almost all of our sorrows spring out of our relations with other people. Politeness is to human nature what warmth is to wax. Sleep is the interest we have to pay on the capital which is called in at death. And the higher the rate of interest and the more regularly it is paid, the further the date of redemption is postponed. In our monogamous part of the world, to marry means to have one's rights and double one's duties. Every person takes the limits of their own field of vision. For the limits of the world, every man takes the limits of his own field of vision for the limits of the world. Great minds are related to the brief span of time during which they live as great buildings are to a little square in which they stand. You cannot see them in all their magnitude because you are standing too close to them. The wise have always said the same things, and fools, who are the majority, have always done just the opposite. Music is the melody whose text is the world. Hatred is an affair of the heart, contempt that of the head. There is no doubt that life is given us, not to be enjoyed, but to be overcome. To be got over the more unintelligent man is, the less mysterious existence seems to him. Every nation ridicules other nations, and all are right. It is only a man's own fundamental thoughts that have truth and life in them, for it is these that he really and completely understands. To read the thoughts of others is like taking the remains of someone else's meal, like putting on the discarded clothes of a stranger. In action a great heart is the chief qualification, in work a great head. Journalists are like dogs. Whenever anything moves they begin to bark. Arthur Schopenhauer the greatest achievements of the human mind are generally received with distrust. All truth passes through three stages. First, it is ridiculed. Second, it is violently opposed. Third, it is accepted as being self-evident. To live alone is the fate of all great souls. The greatest of follies is to sacrifice health for any other kind of happiness. Each day is a little life. Every waking and rising a little birth. Every fresh morning a little youth. Every going to rest and sleep a little death. A man can be himself only so long as he is alone. And if he does not love solitude, he will not love freedom. For it is only when he is alone that he is really free. Men are by nature merely indifferent to one another. But women are by nature enemies. Money is human happiness in the abstract. He, then, who is no longer capable of enjoying human happiness in the concrete devotes himself utterly to money. Wealth is like sea water. The more we drink, the thirstier we become. And the same is true of fame. With people of limited ability modesty is merely honesty. But with those who possess great talent it is hypocrisy. Religion is the masterpiece of the art of animal training, for it trains people as to how they shall think. Nature shows that with the growth of intelligence 
comes increased capacity for pain, and it is only with the highest degree of intelligence that suffering reaches its supreme point. After your death you will be what you were before your birth. Arthur Schopenhauer will power to the mind like a strong blind man who carries on his shoulders a lame man who can see. Change alone is eternal, perpetual, immortal. Friends and acquaintances are the surest passport to fortune. Great men are like eagles and build their nest on some lofty solitude. We forfeit three quarters of ourselves in order to be like other people. It is with trifles and when he is off guard that a man best reveals his character. Opinion is like a pendulum and obeys the same law. If it goes past the center of gravity on one side, it must go like distance on the other. And it is only after a certain time that it finds the true point at which it can remain at rest. Honor means that a man is not exceptional, fame, that he is. Fame is something which must be won. Honor, only something which must not be lost. Reading is equivalent to thinking with someone else's head instead of with one's own. A man's face as a rule says more and more interesting things than his mouth, for it is a compendium of everything his mouth will ever say, in that it is the monogram of all this man's thoughts and aspirations. It is in the treatment of trifles that a person shows what they are. Rascals are always sociable, more's the pity, and the chief sign that a man has any nobility in his character is the little pleasure he takes in others' company. Suffering by nature or chance never seems so painful as suffering inflicted on us by the arbitrary will of another. It is a clear gain to sacrifice pleasure in order to avoid pain. The alchemists in their search for gold discovered many other things of greater value. It is only at the first encounter that a face makes its full impression on us. A man's delight in looking forward to and hoping for some particular satisfaction is a part of the pleasure flowing out of it, enjoyed in advance. But this is afterward deducted. For the more we look forward to anything, the less we enjoy it when it comes. Which quote from Arthur Schopenhauer did you find the most inspiring? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. If you guys like this video, then be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Also, if you don't want to miss out on any new future videos then be sure to click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification under this video so that you're notified the next time we upload a video on the best quotes from world known famous personalities. Thank you for watching and we will see you again in the next video goodbye.